Hello and welcome back. In the previous video, we solved one inclined beam for taking a snow load, wind load, and dead load. And now I'm going to model the same beam with RFM from the Luval, and we'll see how it should be modeled with the software like the Luval. It doesn't matter what software you are using, the concept is the same. Create a model. First of all, so here is inclined beam and typically i go with the so let's start with finnish national annex it can be any other annexes or standards that you might need first of all let's have our beam One section, I have IP 240, and it should be only four meters. I bring this up for three meters that we have the same beam. So here we have a simple support, and at the other end, it's just taking vertical action, but we have to fix it about rotation about x so it is only working in zeta but it should be fixed in about bx now we can see the beam then let's have load cases here i go to the dead load and as far as i'm going to compare my results i just delete this one not considering any self fate and the next one is a snow. You can set it to be on a snow and then the other one will be wind. And set it here. The next one is the design situation. Here we can have favorable permanent action. And that's all we can see. We have 1.35, 1.15, and then 0 0.9. That's pretty what we were looking for. So let's just start to put the load. Here we can uh, apply the load. Dead load, which was in our example minus 2 kN per meter. And here you can see that it is aligned the member. So select the member and here this is our load case the next one is a snow load which is coming to the projected to the ground and it was minus eight and the next one is wind load which should be among the uh, along the member so here we need to change the global axis to local axis and then it was four, I guess. So here we can see our loadings. Uh, and in each case, you can just solve it and check the moment diagram. Five kilonewton meter we had the same and we can go for live load it uh, for a snow load it was 16 kilonewton meter and the last one was 12.5 also you can check the support reactions so 12.5 here you can check support reactions if you're interested in only x and z so here i can coming back it was 5 and 5 the next one was 16 and 16 and here it was 12.5 3.5 and 12. and now if we go to the uls and solve it for all the load combinations relevant to uls we can check what 
the maximum pending moment is here you can see that the maximum value is 29.74 we calculated that it was 29.75 and the minimum was minus 14 25 and here it is minus 14 30. one important note is that at the moment we, are, we can see the envelope meaning that we are looking at the maximum and minimum if you are only interested in maximum here you can set it to be visible or you can see only the minimum value or you can just uh, click on the maximum and minimum values so here we are if you ignore the favorable action then you can see how it looks like you can see that we do not have that many load combinations and here we can find out that the minimum is minus 13 which was minus 14.25 in this example it might not be that much but uh, in a real project and also longer spans it might be important especially if you are designing the roof elements for taking the suction it is very important to find out what the uh, most favorable situation is that's the end of this video i hope it was uh, helpful and you could find something interesting in this video thank you for watching see you next time bye